Seven. As well as the political debate about the personal tax details of the Prime Minister, there is uh, a separate question about what the best response is to the Panama Papers and the obvious fact that a lot of very wealthy people and companies shelter their money in places that don't ask too many questions. What the Prime Minister told the Commons yesterday is that the transparency offered by British offshore centres was far in advance of most other countries. He said he wanted them to publish lists of beneficial ownership of companies based in their territories so that could be it could be obvious who owns what, but he said he wouldn't force them. Senator Philip Ozuf is here, who's Jersey's uh, Assistant Chief Minister for Financial Services. Morning to you. Good morning. And you're ahead of the pack in this in that you have a register, don't you, of, of who owns what? We've had a register since uh, 1989, so we, are, uh, we welcome the uh, statement by the Prime Minister um, on this important initiative, which effectively brings this new standard across all the overseas territories. But is the register public? Uh, no, the register is going to be in, uh, available to law enforcement agencies, and that's the, international, that's, the, that's the new international standard. Well, what you're really trying to do is you're trying to track down uh, and give the opportunity for those uh, law enforcement agencies that are tackling financial crime, tax evasion and money laundering and terrorism financing, and giving them the access. There isn't an agreement on a, an international standard for a public register. Do you think if there, there is? Be? Do you think, I mean, if everyone signed up for one, because what a lot of people say is it's not good enough just to have law enforcement, etc. Actually, in, in order to be completely open and transparent, I need to be able to look up who the beneficial owner of a particular company is. If the rest of the world moved in that direction, would Jersey be willing to? Jersey's been at the vanguard of a lot of these, uh, of a lot of these principles. We've been uh, putting in place things like beneficial ownership registers. We've uh, been an early adopter on the automatic not exchange public. of information. And I'm asking you whether no. a public register is something that you think would be the right way to Well, go. that's a matter for the international standard setters. But what we are worried about is we're worried about the actual quality of the data. We don't think it's important just to simply have a register that isn't verified. The information that is on a register, uh, public or otherwise, has to be verified and has has to be accurate. Yeah, that's uh, a bit of a red herring though, isn't it? The point is transparency and whether or not people can know who is in charge or who is actually getting money from a particular company. And if you are, as you do, marketing yourselves in Shanghai, in Moscow, in Abu Dhabi, and if you have 0% corporation tax, etc., all the attractions to get money into Jersey, it seems reasonable, doesn't it, if you are as transparent as you claim to be, that people can see who who uh, gets the money from an individual company? Well, we do um, charge tax. Banks pay tax at 10%, so we do have a corporation. Yeah, but your tax, general corporation which is our general, is zero. Yes, yeah, our, our biggest industry is financial services, of mm. course. Um, what is absolutely vital is that there is available to law enforcement agencies accurate and up-to-date information yeah, but on, on, on the owners. Though, was and, that's, and that's the most important thing, and this is the standard. Well, is it the most important thing? Actually, the transparency comes from people knowing who owns the money that's in places like Jersey, and you can't do that unless you do it publicly.